Good evening, I'm Jeff Phillips. Those stories in a moment. But first to breaking news of fresh outbreaks near parks. Two fires thought to be started by a train are burning over a 50 hectare area at Bogangate. Fire controllers say one blaze has spread into a nearby mountain range. Twelve tankers and six water bombing aircraft are being used to try and control the blaze. A former army barracks now used for private housing is under threat from that fire front. Winds are gusting up to 30 kilometres an hour, fanning the blaze in a westerly direction. Now to other fires during the day. Firstly, a fast-moving grass fire at Hargraves near Mudgee. The yet-to-be-contained fire has burnt out 40 hectares. Ten tankers, eight aircraft and four heavy plant teams are on site in the effort to halt the fire, but strong winds are fanning the flames. New fires sprang up today at Brawongal, southeast of Bathurst, Woodstock near Blaney and Trundle. Peter Freestone has the story. Firefighters at Knobles Rural Fire Service headquarters are playing the waiting game. Tankers and other equipment are on standby, ready at a moment's notice to spring into action. Some Knobles crews are already in the thick of it, fighting a blaze out of zone. We've deployed some, some of our aircraft to assist in a um, fire near Hargraves to assist the um, uh, Midwestern Council area over there. Wind has stirred up activity at Long Point. That fire is still behind containment lines, but a breakout is looming large. During the day, the region was subjected to wind gusts up to 70 kilometres an hour from the north northwest. Later this evening, the wind is expected to swing around to the west, further increasing the fire danger. The fire danger is extreme, so we've got to be prepared for anything that comes along, and everyone is. Um, prepared and waiting and uh, hoping that nothing happens, but uh, we'll be there to address anything that does come along. Strike teams are on high alert. Not all our resources are here. They're scattered right across the zone. We've got machinery strategically deployed. Uh, we're working with our councils. Uh, and we've seen sort of in some of the fires down in the uh, southern areas today how how they're going in that difficult country down there. The Mullion Creek fire, which has been burning for several days, is also contained and being carefully monitored. We've had tankers on it uh, today patrolling and this recent flare-up is, is one that uh, you know shows how we have to be, keep monitoring that fire continuously and uh, that'll probably happen till it, till it rains properly. Superintendent Hoadley is asking people to exercise extreme care and put off any mowing, grinding or welding activities which can potentially start a fire. Police warn of severe penalties for those deliberately starting a fire. Under the Crimes Act there's intentionally setting a bushfire uh, which carries a maximum penalty of 14 years. There's also offences under the Rural Fires Act that carry um, quite significant penalties with terms of imprisonment. The RFS website details up-to-date fire information. Peter Freestone, Win News. Late this afternoon, parks Forbes, Condoblin and Grenfell were upgraded to catastrophic conditions. A total fire ban remains in place across New South Wales. Win News will keep you up to date if any other emergency situations arise across the viewing area. The situation throughout the Irana district is also on tenterhooks. High winds coupled with dry fuel make for a potentially lethal combination. The area remains on a very high to extreme fire alert. Kate Fotheringham has the details. While a large slice of New South Wales is in a serious situation, the Irana district remains on high fire alert. The combination of hot winds and dry paddocks makes an uncomfortable scene for anyone especially the Rural Fire Service. We've already declared for Section 44 within the Irana area. That gives us uh, a lot more flexibility with resources uh, to combat with whatever fires may arise during the day uh, as the weather deteriorates. Fire services are ready and prepared for anything that comes their way. Superintendent Whalen has urged people to take extra care during this current heat wave. If they are living in fire prone area, they need to consider uh, leaving early uh, and uh, going to a, uh, a shopping centre, a town, relatives, whatever, leave early, just leave for the day, for the, for the bad part of the day. It is expected that the area will remain in a very high to extreme fire danger range. Uh, and in the, with the right wind behind it, uh, we may lose uh, property and uh, threaten life. Superintendent Whalen wants to make decisions wisely when it comes to fire. If people have got property that is prepared properly and is built to sustain fire impact, then uh, they may choose to stay and defend, but they need to be physically able to defend their property. If they're not, they need to leave early. Health authorities are warning during the hot weather, try and stay cool if possible and keep well hydrated by drinking extra water. Kate Fotheringham, Wind News.